In my recent propagation update video, I had mentioned that I wanted to propagate these beautiful philodendron lichens. So I went on Amazon and bought this uh, propagation station for like 20 bucks. I've seen them around here for 50, so I'm going to be propagating these today. There's actually two things that I want to do today. One is propagate uh, this philodendron lichens, but this one here is just two separate cuttings, and I want the overall plant to be a little bit thicker in the top and then cascade down. So what I did is I kind of coiled it up around the top here, and I made these... Um, just these little almost like clips just out of flexible uh, plant wire. And this is basically just a little bit of a trial and error for me. I'm going to take one of these little clips and I'm going to find a leaf node and uh, it has some aerial roots. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stake this portion into the soil just like so. If it'll stay. I'll just push it down a little bit further and then I will just fill it with soil a little bit and I'm hoping that it will actually start to grow roots from that area and hopefully it'll push out some new strands so this like I said I've never done this before and this is a bit of a trial and error so I'm gonna place this one and I'm gonna do the same thing just kind of coil it over find a leaf node area and I'm just going to push that down there as well if it'll stay these aren't the most appropriate stakes but just far enough that it'll stay in the soil there so this is where the leaf node and aerial roots are so I'm just going to cover that up with a little bit of soil if any of you have ever done this method um, just let me know how it has worked out for you in the past so I'm going to take the longest strand which is all the way down to the floor here and I'm going to find a, uh, a leaf node or aerial root section and for this one, it is going to be uh, right here. So there's the uh, leaf node aerial root. And I'm going to cut just below that. So take your clean sterile pruning shears and just snip right below that. Like that. So here's the, uh, the cut portion. And there's two methods of propagating these uh, by single leaf or by the entire stem. And I'll show you both. So for the single leaf method, all you want to do is just have this leaf node with a couple aerial roots and then just cut uh, kind of right beside it. So you don't need, whoops, I fell down. You don't need a large section of stem because you're not going to get any roots from the ends. You're strictly going to get roots just from this area here, uh, the leaf node portion. So you can stick this in water and uh, you can make as many as you want. So working my way down, I'm actually just going to cut a couple, couple of these leaves off uh, just for demonstration purposes. And there's another one. So this you can discard because it's not going to root or anything. And uh, here are my two leaves so far. And same with this one. Just cut, just leave a little bit of the stem just like so. The nice thing about doing this method uh, by single leaf is it eventually will start its own new strand of uh, vines and leaves. So if you want uh, numerous new plants, this is the method to do. If you do strictly just a, uh, a strand cutting, you will only continue to get growth from this area here. Whereas uh, this one, um, it will start a whole new plant. So if you have five or six single leaf cuttings, you will get five or six new strands if you plant them all in the pot together. Okay, so I'm actually going to leave this one here as a strand cutting. And I'm going to put this one in water as well. So where, again, the roots are only going to grow from this area, I'm going to be sticking this end. This is the cut end. This is the, uh, the strand where it was it's still continuing to grow. This is basically the end that I cut off. Uh, from the main plant. So I'm going to leave this end. This is where you want new growth to continue from. I'm actually going to cut this leaf off because if you put it in water it's just going to die anyways. It's just going to kind of die back and rot. So you want to cut this leaf off and you can discard of this. This will not root on its own and this is the end that you want to place in water. And so there's a leaf and this is where the new growth will just continue uh, to grow from. So this is a strand cutting and these are uh, single leaf cuttings. I'm going to take a couple more strand cuttings and you probably only want one or two leaves on there. So this time I'm actually going to leave uh, two leaves on. So I'm going to cut uh, just right back here. Like so. So this will be the end which I will propagate in water. So I'm going to cut this leaf off. Again, discard this. Um, it will not root on its own. This is the end that will be in the water. And this is the portion that will continue to grow. 
So I'm done printing this one. I'm going to place it back up in the window and we're going to be placing these cuttings in water. So I filled the water almost to the top. Just placed the single cuttings in the container just so that the leaf node kind of aerial roots are completely submerged. I would probably only recommend maybe five or six leaf, single leaf cuttings in this just so that it doesn't get completely crowded and once the roots do start to grow that they don't become entangled. So I'm just going to put a couple more in, just kind of drape them off to the side like that. Now just do the same thing with the strand cuttings. Just place them in the water like so. These ones can actually go right down to the bottom. Just kind of draping them over the side too if you want. So these are the two methods of water propagation by single leaf and stem and strand cuttings. You can place them in soil as well to propagate. I've only had really good success with water propagation. So let me know if soil propagation has worked for you in the past. Please leave a comment in the comment section. Otherwise, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.